Hello everyone and welcome to another cast from the 2v2 WWPC. This is under 1800 division and this match is from Knockouts. We play on Wonder 4v4 and both sides are starting on the sides. On the top we have Surprise and Party Time. UEF and Cybran going against Clinch, Cybran and Silver Kronos UEF. So on both sides mirror matchup. For the beginning standard land factory for everyone, no one is going for first bomber or anything like that and I wouldn't even recommend that on a map like this. And since they are both starting on the sides, it's gonna be, I would say, a bit easier to secure the middle since you can keep your units in front and with radar coverage you can easily deny any raids that would try to come to the middle. So we will see who will go for a spam and who will go for a tank. So far just NGs and now first Hunter that might be successful, let's see. Uh, should be th there, should be there pretty much at the same time. So let's see if we can pick up that NG. And now Mantis for party time as well, so if he sends it in time he should be able to defend. Okay, so second air, and then more land, and the mantis should be in time, but now we do see some micro, so he is able to kill that engine, now he's going for another one, let's see if he can get another one as well, but if he gets too close, reclaim my happen, so nicely defended from party time, and everyone going second air. No one wants to be caught without any NTs since early bombers, so now surprise have a chance to kill a few NGs. First kill. And now targeting Max. Because that was just auto attack from the bomber. Meanwhile, Surprise is really fast in going to the front to grab the reclaim. But since they have so much maxes and the reclaim in the trees, I'm not sure if that gives you that big advantage. Also, you can just reclaim these two rocks, and there is also a T2 tank, Rex, so that will give you enough mass to spawn more factories early on. and get the reclaim a bit later and party time is a bit slower on taking expansion on the top let's see how they will split, split it and successful tanks with 4 kills So it looks like uh, the bottom team denied the middle expansion by tanks and the bot and the top team denied it by bombers. But there's still one NG left that this bomber could pick up. And that would be a much better choice than killing Maxes. Or this NG's building power would be also a great target. And instead of building that much power with 3 NGs, I think it would be better to send 2 NGs to these trees with attack move and reclaim it with the chunks and that would give you enough energy to, sp to spend your mass either on T2 maxes, T2 factory or just T1 factories and heavy land spam. Because right now he is lacking on units, the bottom team is lacking on units so this raid might be very successful with this scout that will find 
any NGs and maxes that are already built. Let's see what they can. Yeah, and he's splitting his force. That's nice. So he's gonna raid. Maybe I would just send everything to the bag. I'm not sure. Because right now there are five factories, so he might be able to build enough units to save these maxes. And also, he's just running around and not really killing the max. Maybe this Mantis will finish it. Because right now the units are chasing it, so this Mantis will first shoot at the units and then on the maxes. But looks like he's paying attention to that. So good for him. And picking up all the maxes, so very nice raid. So surprise uh, secured the mass for him, reclaimed quite a lot of it. But now, he, for some reason, he's retreating with all his units. And right now, if Silver Connors paid attention, he could do a lot of damage to surprise with his AC and all his units. So, so far. Yeah, and this, this tank is still alive with 5 kills already. But looks like the rest of the units plus the bomber will solve that issue. But pretty much the same on the expansion. This one was raided, this one as well. Maybe a bit faster for party time to take it. But he has problems elsewhere to take the maxes. So. Uh, some radar in the front would be nice to know where to send units. Also, since they have engines in the middle, one radar in the middle would solve any issues with Intel. It's like now they're sending more units at the Silver Chronos, and this would be the right time to split the force, send five tanks or six to the top, raid these maxes, and go to the back. And meanwhile attack with the main force if they can, but right now they should see there's already too much units to attack, but they don't have the radar in front, so now the Intis will scout it and this is the time to run, because this is just a mass skiff, and he is retreating, and also getting quite a lot of mass, so he can spam more factories or start upgrading T2 maxes, he has T2 land already, so some T2 NG for power or TML would be really nice at this point since uh, Silver Kronos is later on T2 so if he instead of T2 tanks went for really fast TML he could deny any factory that Silver Kronos would try to upgrade to T2 and then kill, start killing all the maxes and pretty much everything and only help for him would be T2 for clinch but He's not even thinking about going T2 yet. So, on this map, if and especially in this 2v2, if you're really fast on T2, you can get TML and you can get it quite easily since there are so many resources just lying around your base. There's also a T2 tank in the back and all the rocks, trees. So you have enough resources to put even 10 NGs to supporting the TML and if you rush it really fast, your, up, your enemy will have just no chance. You will one shot every factory he would try to upgrade, so with enough scouts you will deny the T2 from him. Also if he is on upgrade the ACU you can easily deny it with one missile and if he tries it again he's dead. So he could decide the battle on the right side long time ago, but we don't know, maybe surprise doesn't like TMLs and it looks like he has a different idea to going straight for T3 but I think he needs a T2 P gen for that because once he ran out of reclaim I don't think he will have enough energy and also he didn't build any TMD so if now Silver Kronos decides to do TML for now he has no protection and I'm not sure if he even got a T2 NG out. Okay, he is now and going for P gen. But when you reach the T2, the first thing you should do is build TMD and then P gen. Just to be sure 
but even later on when the enemy builds TML or wants to build you won't find yourself without having no TMD and right now quite a lot of T1 spam for clinch and that can be easily defend with the units they both have and right now it's really a bad idea to attack for a surprise when it's going to Ukraine. This is the time when he wants to stockpile all his units, defend and then attack later with T3 units. He don't want to waste units right now, he wants his opponents to attack him. And also since party time was also uh, faster on T2. He has a TMD and T2 P gen already up, but he should be. When you're building TMD, you should be always thinking about TML yourself, not just waiting to beat TML. So, again, the, si the same situation. The TML could have won the game for both of them, and I don't see any reason why not to use it. Okay, so both two the expansions look like their price took the bottom one, meanwhile party them to the top and I would build more factories here just to reclaim everything fast and with that amount of max you can afford a lot of T2 factories or a lot of T2 max. Let's see at his eco. He has enough, he can do whatever he wants. Right now there's a major attack on the top side, but instead of T1 PDs I would also build few T2 with those NGs assisting the one, this one, since he really needs to retreat, there's not enough units to defend right now, or maybe just enough, and with this Gunt ACU it's even dangerous since the price does not have any upgrade, and it's even T2 and Gunt, that's much worse for him, so he just needs to run build PDs everywhere and I'm not sure if one Percival or two Percivals can decide this battle because he would need to be really careful for, with them Percivals do range gun to ACU so if he micros properly he can just kill the army and the ACU as well but that's not exactly what he's doing and yeah the Percival just got insta overcharged and this is the end for the surprise. So the strategy he wanted to do was nice but badly executed when he was attacking in the time when he was supposed to be defending since he was rushing tech T3 but he couldn't have enough units to attack. And here at the bottom if also if you are against really heavy spam, just one ball will save you from any T1 spam, even from T2. Yeah, they were both rushing T3, but they could win the game with a T2 TML already. And... Well, now party time still has some chance with the T3 if he uses properly, but now he has the problem on the right side and he can't really send too many units there too many early T3 units because there's still the ACU with full health and T2 so it shouldn't be no problem for Silver Kronos to take this expansion and also he can just go T3 himself but looks like he's not going for that yet and right now they also have air advantage so uh, they can just start using bombers everywhere. Okay, so nice plan f from the top team rushing T3 on this map. It's definitely possible with the amount of reclaim they have around their bases and the number of maxes. But if you're doing that, you should just defend yourself and not be that aggressive. Like the early raids were really nice, but that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna just pretend that you're gonna go for a spam, do some raids, and then just stop them and put everything in the eco and the T3. 
and if you see that you're against spam just build walls with few PDs and that's much easier to defend with and one brick against that many T2 units and PDs does not have many chances so the brick should be now used defensively to take back this uh, but he's, he's giving up so maybe next time they will manage to do it better I'm definitely looking forward to see that working, the strategy. Okay, so see you in another cast.